क्लास टू सब्जेक्ट एरिथमेटिक रिविशन वन अ वेरी गुड डे टू माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर इन गुड हेल्थ स्टे होम एंड स्टे सेफ सो वी आर बैक अगेन विथ अ एरिथ क्लास इन द प्रीवियस क्लास यू हैव already learned many topic about arithmetic today we are going to recap some of the previous topics so at first we will revise the topic of odd and even numbers so at first we will revise the topic of odd and even numbers as you have already done this topic before so let's revise it quickly tell me what is an odd number or what do you understand by odd number tell me what is an odd number yes absolutely right an odd number is a number that cannot be divided into two separate groups an odd number is a number that cannot be divided into two separate groups odd number is a number that cannot be put into pairs isn't it odd number is a number that cannot be put into pairs and odd numbers always end in 1 3 5 7 9 odd numbers always end in 1 3 5 7 9 it means if these numbers 1 3 5 7 9 are placed in ones place then they are odd number in previous class you have already learnt that these numbers cannot be put into pairs isn't it it means 1 3 5 7 9 we can't put them into pairs next next one is even number what is an even number or what do you understand by even number you have already learnt it so tell me yes an even number is a number that can be divided into two equal groups an even number is a number that can be divided into two equal groups even number are that which can be put into pairs even number are that which can be put into pairs and even numbers always end in 0 2 4 6 8 it means if these numbers what numbers 0 2 4 6 8 if these numbers are placed in ones place then they are even numbers i hope after knowing what is odd and what is even number you all have understood the difference between odd and even number isn't it and these are odd number cannot be put into pairs an odd number 
cannot be put into pairs. But an even number can be put into pairs. An even number can be put into pairs. And pairs means? Pairs means a group which has two. Yes. The next one is, or an, another difference is, an odd number cannot be divided by 2. An odd number cannot be divided by 2. But an even number is divisible by 2. An even number is divisible by 2. Now, it's time to do some exercises on odd and even number. But, before going to do exercises on odd and even number, I am going to give you some hints. These hints will be help you to solve your exercises. Now, how will you find odd and even number? How you will find an odd or an even number? Or how we will identify that this number is odd or this number is even? How will you identify? There are some tricks to identify odd and even numbers easily. Yes, you have already learnt that. Isn't it? Yes. Those numbers are divided by 2. They are what number? Those numbers are divided by 2. They are what number? Tell me. Yes. They are even numbers. Those numbers are divided by 2. They are even numbers. And those numbers are cannot be divided by 2. That numbers are called odd numbers. And start with even number and skip count in 2's to get next even number. Start with even number. And skip count in twos to get next even number. Similarly, start with an odd number and skip count in twos to get the next odd number. I hope you all have remembered this. Now, I am going to tell you an easy way to find odd or even for big numbers. Yes, some of you are already understood that what is the trick, isn't it? Yes, always check the last digit. Always check the last digit. It means if the last digit is even, then the number will be even. If the last digit is even, then the number will be even. Last digit means the number which is in the ones place. It means as we have already learnt 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, these numbers are even number. So, if any number ends with these numbers, that number will be even number. On the other hand, if the last digit an odd number, then the number will be odd. If the last digit is an odd number, then the number will be odd. It means... As we have already learnt 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 
these are odd numbers if any numbers ends with these numbers then that the number will be odd if any number ends with these numbers then the number will be odd it means if any numbers end with this number then the number will be odd and the last digit means the number which is in the ones place so always remember these tricks it will help you to find out or identify an even or an odd number very easily now let's do some exercises in previous class let's do some exercises from your previous class in your previous class you have already done some exercises like identify odd or even numbers writing odd numbers from 1 to 71 circle the odd numbers and underline the even numbers isn't it so we are going to discuss the answers we are going to discuss the answers of that questions so writing odd numbers from 1 to 71 so what are the numbers the odd numbers are from 1 to 71 And the numbers are three hundred, two hundred ninety-five, three 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 hundred ninety-five, are the number and you have to circle the odd numbers and underline the even numbers so let's start first circle the odd numbers and what are the odd numbers yes yes you all did the right yes you all did right 205 so put circle on these odd numbers now even number what are the even numbers 300 and 36 these are the even number so underline these numbers underline these even numbers and the next exercise Here are the numbers from one to thirty. Ring the odd numbers in blue and ring the even numbers in red. Four has already done for 
you ring the odd numbers in blue see one three these numbers are already ring in blue now the next will be the next odd number will be five the next odd numbers will be five then seven very good then nine yes eleven thirteen fifteen seventeen nineteen twenty one twenty three twenty five twenty seven twenty nine and ring the even numbers in red see two has done for you two and four and next even numbers will be six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty four twenty six twenty eight and thirty okay i hope you have done this okay fill in the missing even numbers in order 6 8 and the next will be 10 then 12 14 16 already 16 has given so next will be 18 then yes next will be 20 then 22 24 26 28 then 30 32 34 36 38 40 42 44 next one is fill in the missing odd numbers in order the answer will be 31 33 35 37 39 41 43 44 47 49 51 53 55 57 59 61 63 65 67 and 69 okay now i am going to give you some more practice work you have to solve them by your own now we are going to revise another topic and that is tables that is tables tables from 2 to 10 tables from 2 to 10 as you have already done the tables from 2 to 10 in previous class now let's revise it quickly and how we will going to revise it i will ask you the tables and you will answer it okay so tell me two for the what two for the what yes two for the eight okay now listen if it is difficult to remember the table from the middle then you can start saying from the first you can start the table saying from the first if it is difficult to remember the table from the middle then you can start saying from the first like two ones are two Two twos are four. Two threes are six. Two fours are eight. Yes. Okay. Now next, tell me. Three fives are what? Three fives are what? Yes. Absolutely right. Three fives are fifteen. Okay. Very nice. Okay, now tell me six for the what? Tell me. Yes, 
ten me six four za what? Okay, I have told you if it is difficult to remember the table from the middle, then you can start saying from the first. You can start saying from the first. And how we will, how you will say? Six ones a six. Six twos a twelve. Six threes a eighteen. Yes. Then six fours a. So now tell me. What will be the answer? Six four sa. Yes. Twenty four. Six four sa. Twenty four. Very good. Now tell me. Six ten sa. It is very easy to say, na. Six ten sa. Sixty. Very good. Okay, okay. Now, tell me the table of ten. Tell me the table of ten, and tell me loudly. Yes, ten ones are ten. Ten twos are twenty. Ten threes are thirty. Ten fours are forty. Ten fives are fifty. Ten sixes are sixty. Ten sevens are seventy. Ten eights are eighty. Ten nines are ninety. And ten tens are hundred. Yes, very good. Okay. Now I am going to give you some exercise. Or some practice work on the tables. So you have to do them. After revise all the tables from two to ten, let's see how much you remember. So let's do some exercises. Practice work. Look, fill in the boxes. Seven to the what? Seven to the what? Nine into what becomes nine? Nine into what becomes nine? Ten for the what? Ten for the what? What into five becomes thirty? What into five becomes thirty? Then two nines a what? Two nines a what? Next one. What into four becomes thirty six? What into four becomes thirty six? Ten into what becomes ninety? Next one. Ten into what becomes ninety? Then, what into five becomes twenty-five? It is very easy, isn't it? Yes. What into five becomes twenty-five? Okay. The next one. Four into what becomes twenty-eight? Four into what become twenty eight? Okay, next one eight eight the what? Eight eight the what? You have to do this by your own because you have already done the tables from two to ten. Write down all the tables. And memorize them. Practice writing the tables. If you will practice them regularly, you will never forget them, because practice makes us perfect. Again, 
it's time to revise another topic again it's time to revise another topic and that is shapes the basic shapes of geometry the basic shapes of geometry so tell me what are the ba basic shapes of geometry i know that you all know the names of the basic shapes so tell me what are the basic shapes of geometry yes very good these are circle square rectangle triangle very good these are the basic shapes of geometry in our surrounding so now quickly revise the definition once again so first what is circle what is circle the circle is round it has no corners and no sides so tell me the definition of circle what is the definition of circle the circle is round it has no corners and no sides so now you can see this pictures there are some examples of circle these all things are belongs to our surrounding some of these examples we can see at a house or in a neighborhood in a school isn't it okay now i am going to give you some task on it you have to write down four more objects name whose shapes are like circle whose shape is like circle write down these names and draw and color the pictures of the objects okay then next one is what shape is this yes this is square so tell me what is the definition of square yes the square has four corners it has four sides and all sides are what yes and all sides are equal in length very good so look at the picture and there are some examples of square like circle there are many objects which are which are square in shape in a surrounding let's have a look yes okay now you have to write four more objects name okay four more objects name whose shape is like square okay okay now the next one is hmm the next shape is rectangle okay rectangle has how many sides yes rectangle has four sides but two long sides and two short sides and it has how many corners yes very good it has four corners in rectangle the opposite sides are what in rectangle the opposite sides are same very good it means both the long sides are equal and both the short sides are equal but long sides and short sides are not equal in 
length. So, a rectangle has four sides and four corners, but its four sides are not equal. Its opposite sides are equal. Okay, now it's time to look a surrounding. Okay, now it's time to look at a surrounding. And find out some more objects which are rectangle in shape. So, look at our surrounding and find out some more objects which are rectangle in shape. Okay. So, there, there are some pictures, there are some objects with whose shapes is rectangle. Now, the next shape. So, look at the shape and tell me what is the shape and what shape is this? Yes, this is triangle and it has three sides, three corners. In triangle, it is not compulsory for the three sides to be equal. It means in triangle it is not compulsory that all the three sides must be equal. So, what is the definition? A triangle has, okay, you all tell me what is the definition of triangle? A triangle has three sides, very good. It has three corners, okay. So, look at the picture, there are some examples of triangle okay now find out four objects from our surrounding which have the shape of a triangle okay it is it is a common practice work for you okay now it's time to solve some exercises from the previous class in previous class, you got these questions, isn't it? So, these are fill in the blanks. Number one, this is a rectangle and it has two long sides, two short sides and four corners. Number two, this is a what? Square. It has four sides and all the sides are equal in length. It has four corners. Okay. Third one is, this is a what? Yes. This is a triangle. It has three sides. It has three corners. And number four, this is a circle. It is round. And it has, what? It has no corners. It has no corners. Okay. The next exercise. Look at the pictures. Write how many sides and corners each has. Name the shape each look like. A. Okay. Name of the shape is? Rectangle. Very good. Number of stretch sides? Four. Number of corners? Four. Okay. Next one. Number B. Number of curved sides? One. Number of corners? Zero. No corners. Name of shape? Circle. Number C. Number of stretch size, 4. Number of corners, 4. Name of the shape is square. And number of stretch size, number D. Question number D. Number of stretch size, triangle. Number of corners, I'm sorry. Number of stretch size, 3. Yes. 
I told name of the shape at first, isn't it? Okay. Number of straight sides? Three. Number of corners? Three. Name of the shape? Now it's it will be what? Now it will be triangle, isn't it? Yes. Name of shape? Triangle. Okay. But at last, I am going to give you some exercises on this topic. Okay. So, you have to do it by your own. But before going to do some ex uh, another exercises, before going to do some new exercises, I hope you all have remembered the solid shapes. You have already done it in your previous class, isn't it? You have already done it, your, it in your previous class. Mm. So, they are cube and cylinder. Isn't it? Yes. Cube. It looks like a dice. It has flat faces. It has straight edges. And it has corners. The next one, cylinder. It looks like a drum. It has a curved face. It also has two flat face. Okay. <clears throat> so, we have done, we have done shape. Hmm. So, now I am going to give you some practice work. And you have to do them by your own. We have completed topic of arithmetic. Now, I am going to give you some practice work. You have to do them by your own. So, look at the practice work. Look at these pictures. You will do it by your own. These are the practice work. Match. Then you have to draw the similar shape. You have to draw the shape. Next one. You have to draw the shapes and write three sentences about the shape. You have to draw the shape and you have to write three sentences about the shape. Okay? Stay home. Stay safe. Thank you.